Hello and welcome back to Foundry. In our last episode, we did a little bit of power expansion, a uh, bunch more solar panels way over there in our so in our solar field there, and then we also started tearing apart the uh, the area in the basement where the uh, Xenofire is being mined and uh, run through its first uh, re, uh, re uh, oh geez, what's the word, Molly? Uh, re um, refinement process, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> um, thank you to Dennis, who pointed out that I goofed this up. This belt here, if I can target it, not this one, but that one, should be, oh, I can do it from this side, should be green, not red. So we were actually limiting our throughput on our, um, on our limestone to uh, 160 instead of being able to get all whatever it was, 500 or something that we're mining. Uh, so we need to go back down and continue our work in the uh, Xenoferrite level so that we can resume the, uh, the the mining and the initial uh, refinement process. Let's go down. And I did finish the uh, second mining efficiency research just to kind of flush out a little bit of the Xenoferrite that was backed up down here. Um, so yeah, we are a little bit better now. Uh, but I do need to finish tearing apart this, this level here that has all of these things on it which is going to be a little bit messy um we could though we could run the belt of the um uh have to change it still a little bit should be yeah let's let's do it but let's change it just a little bit so let's take out i think three levels here or just two just two all the way down to here to to width that is uh, it doesn't matter how high, really. And then I guess I need to fill this in. Now what we can do is pass the, uh, pass, whatever these are called, the, uh, the mining rails, uh, down. And then we can, and, and then end all the miners, and then we can take the, uh, actual, um, ore up. As long as this will work like I think it will, which I don't actually know if it will or not. That's rails. Um, or can come this way. Now let's see. It needs to actually stop sooner. It's not going to work. It's not going to fit. Hmm. Hmm. Could go the other way with it. That would probably work because you had a little more room maybe to wiggle around down there. The, the issue is that this belt's here. So maybe if we just flipped it the other way, it would work out fine. Uh, because we can just we can just make it work over here however we need to make it work. I have enough room for eight miners here without blasting anymore. I did have to drill out a little bit of Xenophyte, but uh, eight miners should be a nice improvement. Do I have them all here? Did I put them away? Some oh, I did put them away someplace. I put them away in here. I need to get these rails out, and I have one miner in my inventory. Let's take a second one. Mining car, that is, or cart, or whatever they're called. And we need to run power, of course. Let's uh, take from there. Uh, I'm going to come out to here like this, and then we'll go to here. Do the same rules as before. Uh, uh, power is in the uh, first slot. Uh, mining r drills are input into this, the fourth slot. Or mining rails, rather. And then we have a double length um, here. Input into, or output on from the, uh, from the second slot. Just kind of to be consistent here. Uh, let's drop a stack or a small stack of these. Let's see, eight, one, two, three. Yeah, we'll just do like a half a well, not not that many. Uh, half a stack in each. One, yeah, that we one will be only eight instead of ten, but that's fine. I'll drop this in, uh, and uh, launch. Also, Okay, you're, and they're going to start drilling out this bottom floor, but they're going to move much faster because they don't have the um, they don't have they don't have as much to drill through, I assume. So that should be fine. This way, I don't have to mess with all the fuel either. I can just do that, and and I don't have to mess with these these rails or these belts here. I think that'll be better in the long run. So I just went ahead and staged those out because that way I can see how many I could fit in here because we're going to make some of each of these. So power continue. Here it is there. 
and then uh, this and this and then go I'm assuming we're getting let's see here yeah we are okay I didn't make sure we were getting a little cart back before I before I put down the next one where I couldn't see anymore kind of should wait there it comes I see it you can see it poking through the edge there a little bit we'll call that video game logic let's see go here Split in half, and then I need to go get a couple more of these things. Actually, I think I can take them all. I can. And then we'll just make more as we need them. You. Launch. You can kind of get started while we wait. I just won't launch it right away. Just in case I need to pick it back up again. There it goes. Half of you. And that's the last one. Two, three, four, five. Yep. Did I? I think I might have had some of this stuff upstairs, but I'm not going to worry about it. In in the in the main the main storage box up there. Uh, so let's make three of those. Uh oh, we're going to have to go upstairs. Then let's cancel those just in case I do have more. We're going to go get some more material, and that more material is going to be identifier plates. Yeah. Okay. Let's go back up and get some more materials. Hopefully we have some. I think we should because we have um, because we aren't doing any research. I mean, like I said, I did let that one finish so it would have picked up possibly a few more Xenophyte plates, but hopefully there's at least some left. There's at least some on the belt here still, so that's good. Oh yeah, got plenty. Uh, let's check that box. I think I made one, though. No, I didn't have any here. Okay. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. Put the box in the box. Put in the other box. Dirt goes in there. I have some biomass too. I'll just drop that in here too. Zeno. At least up a little. And you all are stockpiling too. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here. Need some more power poles and probably cable. Uh, let's go with five of those and ten of those. One of you and two or ten of these. That'll be 16 left and I can just deal with it. Here. Just making sure once again. Here it comes. And the final one. Wait a minute. Did I miscount? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I had nine. Oh, I had nine. We need to make more. And then in that case, I will give you half of these. <laughs> Not that I couldn't go get more, of course. Okay, I do see that one moving. All right, so we need a new depot. And a new miner. And you get these and that. Launch as well. And now we can run this whole belt. Really should set up a toolbar with the green belts on it. This way. If I had that many. A lot of yellow belts. And this can just literally come down this far once we have that many belts. So nine, we have nine times 160, but there's always going to be the boost of, um, as these things get, get better with mining upgrades. So we have nine times 160 though, which is 1440. Divide that by 140 and it's just over 10. So you could really hold or handle up to 11 of these, uh, easily enough. Now 11 of these is going to output way too much, uh, ore. It's going to be 1100 ore. So we'd have to split this belt a little bit different slash better, which we could just lift it up, I suppose. But that would be helpful. Should I sandwich these together, though? That's the question. I could fit them tighter. Maybe that's a good idea. Uh, which means that we need to take them up, their loaders up, and their unloaders up. But not the belt with the fuel on it, because I don't want to have to deal with all that. There. And then I guess we also should replace this... with a uh, floor at the same height as that one, since we're, we're not going to replace that. Oop. How far do you go? Oops. Probably wasn't actually necessary. 5 by 9 by 1. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, the developers announced a uh, another update coming sometime soon. Let's see. No, I can't do that. I gotta do it here. Uh, coming sometime soon after they approve this one, or after this one gets gets released into um, the, uh, the the regular branch, because right now it's still an experimental. Uh, after it gets released in the regular branch, they're gonna have another update called the usability update. And um, with that is going to come a bunch of changes revolving around, well, usability of the game. Uh, thanks to uh, comments by uh, viewers, uh, players, um, whichever. I don't know specifically. I'm going to leave this open for right now just because I have an idea that I might want to do. Uh, so if you gave feedback on, on the playability of the game, um, especially, you know, thanks to my series, but in general even, um, thank you for doing that. Uh, They've done, a, a, as we've said before, they've done a really good job with this game. And um, I'm, I'm glad that people are are talking about it and uh, providing feedback um, on the uh, on the state of the game and how, what they like about the game. Um, so if, if yeah, if, if you if you did that, uh, thanks to watching this series for sure. Um, I, I appreciate that. So let's do these like this, and we're going to put them sandwiched right next to each other. Can I reach the screen without doing that? Uh, yes, actually. Uh, so you know fair, right? But I don't need it because I can use the, the tablet here to copy the recipes. Oh, and one of those updates is the tablet is now going to be more of a, a universal control. Uh, as we've talked about in... Oh, I forgot I needed to make more of these, too. Uh, and I don't have the stuff to make it. Electronics. Oh boy, there I go again. I might have some of those in the box too. Um, so uh, the, the tablet here is going to actually be able to do a lot of different things and be able to control any machine and any loader, including I'm assuming the filter loaders and the liquid uh, loaders, so that we can 
control them without having to use the built-in screen on the machines. Which, as we've talked about uh, both, uh, I think at least uh, in the chats, and um, I probably have mentioned it a few times, uh, it, I, I like that idea. Uh, no, we don't have any of those. We have the other ones, the casting machines. All right, so we need to go get some stuff. And that stuff is probably a little bit of everything. Probably couldn't hurt. Especially though, electronic components. And I don't remember how many we needed. At least five. How many can we make? Ten. That should be enough. We needed 11. Uh, potentially 11. But we're going to I'll put that on two belts. So, um, but there's a lot of changes. If you go to foundry-game.com and look at the most recent blog post, you'll see that. Uh, they haven't said when it's going to come out, but there's going to be a lot of UI and UX uh, changes um, that uh, are based on things players have commented on or asked for. So uh, it's going to be really good to... Um, it'd be really good to have and really good to see, and, and uh, it's really good feedback, um, you know, thanks to folks finding this game on YouTube. So... Thank you all for for stopping by here, of course, and and giving me your patronage too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Because I started with four. Wait a minute, I started with four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Apparently so. I need to make two more. I thought I had five. Apparently I didn't. And the tablet's going to be a little more automated, too. Like, it'll just come up. Instead of um, you needing to press V, uh, it'll have kind of some default functionality that'll just come up. And it'll be, I think it's going to be a little bit smaller on the screen. But it'll also have multiple different, uh, different like, sections on the screen, of, on its screen, uh, rather than um, the one like you see here. Do I have any other garbage to throw in here? Yeah, you could probably use this fuel. Uh, wait a minute. Did I put the wrong things down? I did. How far, how long ago did I put the wrong things down? Thermal separator. Oh, fuel. Okay, wait a minute. Fuel, right. Jeez, Wally. There we are. Okay. Uh, and then... You'll continue down here. You're the fuel. Where we decided for that. This belt needs to come out. And then we'll reverse it. To go this way. These are three each? Yeah. So that'll be good. We'll do... Input on the, the left one and output on, or uh, input of fuel and then on the left one and input of, of uh, whatchamacallit's here on the right one. Uh, we need to have a second belt uh, for half of these or half or so of these. And that'll go into uh, here. So one belt will go d dedicated to just xenoferrite plates. And then the other belt will be shared between steel and concrete. One, two, three, four five will give me 500 we only need 400 and something so that should be fine uh do we want to split the output of one of them though that might not be a bad idea the big question is how am i going to route that then Three, four, five. Uh, let's see six of them would be well we'll just do it like this this will be fine we'll just do um output here and then this one will output here and it will uh, nope, we're going to have to make it tighter. It's going to have to output... Right there. It's going to have to output here. And then it'll ramp up. Do we have any green ramps? No. We need at least two. It'll ramp up like this. Um, Because this is too low. 
This is gonna clip, I assume. Yeah, this clips. So we actually have to either go up higher or go around, but we do need to just go up higher. Like that. And then we'll go, which means of course we need two more of these then to come back down again. Then this will go like this. And then once we get past this lift, because these lifts don't need to come down any further, I'll put it here maybe, come away by one. Oh, I need more conveyor threes. What am I missing for conveyor? Oh, circuits. That could be painful. All right, we may have to go back upstairs again. Uh, these can come this way. Actually, we only need to go by, only need to turn by, well, no, let's go out here, maybe. Let's me here. Yep, and then this one can turn here. And then we can do the uh, the two green ramps, like this. Uh, down, please. And then there. Okay, we're good on that front. Uh, these all can go... Let's see, here. There. There. That one can't be there, but I think it can be here. And then that one can be there. Don't need that belt anymore. Okay. Uh, these would be inputs from here. Two, three, four, five, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. And I can add more of these too um, whenever we might need to do more uh, refining. Um, I want to take, let's see, this belt here is the belt. Hmm. Let's do it like this. Uh, we need more of these, which I need circuit boards for. Dang it. Okay, let me pause and run back up. We've run up twice on camera. Let me run up once without being on camera. And I'll be right back. And we're back. So um, I went up and got... I've stocked everything up. We are completely out of steel upstairs, though, which I was kind of amused by. Uh, so we need a ramp. I think just the one. And it can go... Oops. Uh, up, please. And we're just going to do a little bit of shenanigans here with this. Hopefully we have enough of these, although I have the circuits now, so it's not as big of a deal. And that'll go up there and pick those up. And there they go. Uh, we did hook up the outputs already. No, we didn't. Not on this one. Uh, you can go all the way to here. Oh, really? I'm two belts short? Okay. Wait, did I just do ramps instead of belts? I sure did. And then we need these outputs. One, two, three, four, five. Am I screwing up my ability to do math again? One, two, three, four, five, six. I did the wrong one on the wrong side. Uh huh. Okay. This belt should continue along, I think, to here. Uh, this one comes out just to keep it the same. This one goes here, this one goes here. So that's six now. Watch my head. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, nope, it's got to go up right away. I lied. This one goes here. Up. Up, and there we go. I have a crap ton of ore in my pocket now. Wait, why was steel not working? Is something messed up somewhere else? Probably. Uh, let me drop off some stuff to you. These randomly. Go. These don't have fuel. I gotta hook the fuel back up. This is there. Uh, those can be hooked back up too. 
And then we need to pick up the fuel. That would be useful. Inputs. Here. Okay, can I stand maybe down here? That might work. There we go. Okay, there goes all the rubble. Now I'm kind of emptying out this one first. We have plenty of rails. Uh, let's go ahead and do this bit next. Because they're going to empty out from uh, from the far end because they're all sharing a belt now. And this is going to be too much for one belt also. I didn't think about that. Because this is going to be 160 plus times 9. Which is more than we need for one belt. So technically this should also be a separate belt. Uh, that somehow brought in uh, better. I wonder how I can do that. Um, either way, we need to do this. Really? I don't have any red rams left. Down, please. And then that way, please. That way we can get the rails moving. Uh, what we could do is something similar after... Um, odd number of again, of course. But after, you know, four or five, we could split the belt off into a second belt. Though, down here... And then, how do we bring that into the machines? Well, we could use third row. Or we could take it down here, turn it around, and bring it straight back up above itself. And then tuck it in. Well, then why don't we just do third rows for all of these? Also, I need to finish putting the rails in. Do the rails first, because I know what that needs to be done. And let's just, yeah, let's do the third row for all of it. No, we can't do that. Because they'll conflict with each other here. This belt's going to be too low. It'll conflict with the third row outputs there. Okay, well, uh, inputs there on slot four. Probably don't need these yet, but they're going to need them pretty fast. So, as far as this one got, yeah, they haven't gotten very far because they're only, but they're drilling out one block, so... They'll, they'll get pretty far pretty fast. Hmm. Well, then let's do... One, two, three, four, five. After five, we'll take out this belt. And we'll turn it to the side. And it can go this way. And I'm out of green belts. few more. We're gonna need a lot more than that, but for now, a few more. Here. This needs to change then again. Let's come this way somehow. Oops. This one and this one, this one. Actually, all this probably needs to come out. So this one needs to come down. This way. Uh, go. Out a bit. And then turn back on itself. Slope up there. Like that. And this one needs to go out around that one. <laughs> and then go up again. And then go into here, like that. This one's going to go all the way alongside that one. And then we'll use the third row loaders. Uh, do I have any made? Before I make some, do I have any made? No, I've actually spent all my second row loaders too. 10, or 5, 10, 11. Input. Right here. We have three machine three spots in the machine. Why not have three loaders? And that way each miner is connected to each loader in the end. Yeah, but I may have not quite made this. Yep, all the way down. Excuse me. There we go. So that should work. Uh it's kind of a fun little pattern too. 
Um, but every, every machine should be connected. These ones here are not going to run as much because they are backed up because that's steel and concrete. We need to go upstairs and take a look at how that's being handled now. Uh, so we have we have one, two, three, four, five of them being sent to uh, plates, and then the rest being sent to uh, steel and concrete. Let's go to floor one. And then we can do a bit of investigation here. I need to do something different with all of this. Uh, you're outputting... Right, we're not outputting here, but that should be making steel. We're still not getting any steel. We're getting some steel out. Okay. We do need to change the way this is working. But I also need to be able to get... Ooh. I'm not filtering those out of this one either. Okay, first of all, we need to break this. And we need to put in... Oh, this one too. We need to put in a belt going... Actually, all of these. Because they're the wrong shape. One by three. Yeah, just do that. Um, and then... Green belts. To there. And then this one will have the same situation going to there. Uh, need two filter loaders. Actually, we need more than that. So we need to deal with this one, too. Yep, you need to come out as well. We need four filter loaders. I'll put here... I'm thinking here there and here and take this out I thought so I thought I heard it uh, input now down here instead this one's just a red belt and this will be just uh, uh, xenoferret ore this one will be Fuel rod casings. Oh, here they are. This one will be fuel rod casings. And this one will be... Xenoferrite. And this one already is Xenoferrite, and that one's already fuel rod casings. I think I want to take it this way. And then this way. And then uh, lift it up this. Oops. Up, please. There. Twice. You need to go that high anyway. Might as well just do it right now. And that can go right into that. Just like this one is. Okay, so steel is coming out. I think I want to check to make sure that everything is working properly. Uh, we should just do this. Look at that go. Look at it go. Look at it go. Look at it go. Let's go. Let's just go up floor by floor. Oh, we're already here. Second floor. I can't tell if that's not working right because we're not consuming that much. Uh, we're going to skip floor three because that's uh, Technum. I need to double that yellow science yet. Steel says we may need to make more steel. Uh, yellow belt coming in. Red belt coming in. This is making... 
30 times 5, 150 of those, which is then being turned into 150 of these. So this should be a nearly full belt, and it's not. Why is it not? Wait, this is 8 times 20. Yes, this is 100. It would be 150 of these. Um, is this... Did I miscount something here? No. 30 times 5 is 150. And then we're going... These are 1 to 1, so we should be getting 150 out of here. This should basically be a full belt. Oh, there it is now. Okay, it is heading ramped up all the way, maybe. With the uh, Ignium... Remember by the Xenofire, or maybe there's an Ignium problem, which there very well could be. Uh, and then we could go up here. I also want to make sure there's not any um, capsules on the ends of these belts, too, because there could be. Especially this one. Yeah, there are. Okay. Uh, let's go here. E? No. Uh, F? Don't know if there's any under there or not, but that's easily enough fixed like that. All right, so these can work again, and this will produce a bit more in the concrete, uh, in the concrete realm. And I think that might just do it for for today's episode. Um, I think we have um, stabilized the base uh, on those two items. Uh, the next thing we need to do is stabilize power or uh, Ignium fuel cells, rather, which we will do, um, I think, in the next one. And then we can double the uh, yellow science and make some progress, uh, make, be able to make progress on science again. So it looks like steel still shows only a partial belt here, but maybe it's just that it hasn't caught up just yet. Uh, but steel was completely empty in the box earlier. So uh, hopefully we are making more. We'll see that uh, in the next episode and make sure we may have to actually expand steel too. But for now, uh, we'll leave this here, and we'll be back again in the next one to, uh, to expand the Ignium refining. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you then. Bye for now.